and her government. Jane Trinity. Mr Speaker, we last weekend marked the anniversary of the general election of 2017, and what a year it has been. I am so proud to be part of this amazing government that is driving a strong economy while also showing compassion. In fact, Mr Speaker, we're not just talking about compassion. We are showing compassion by being compassionate. My colleague here, Joe Luxton, talked about the changes that we've seen in the WINS offices. I have had so many people contact me, so many people come through the door of my office talking to my staff members about how much simple little changes are making to their lives, how they don't feel disempowered anymore. They feel valued when they walk in those doors just by even having the toilet available to them, something that this government has thought about. The increase to the refugee quota. In fact, Mr Speaker, last Tuesday when I was coming to Parliament, I was listening to the, to the radio and I heard the Honourable Simon Bridges saying that perhaps the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Jacinda Ardern, needs to put her money where her mouth is and actually not just talk about increasing the refugee quota but actually show the country that that was happening. Well, perhaps uh, the Honourable Simon Bridges should have waited until that afternoon, because that afternoon, Mr Speaker, we announced that we were actually increasing that number from 1,000 to 1,500. And perhaps one of the most recent compassionate announcements that we have made, Mr Speaker, has been the providing of the compensation to the almost around 800-odd families who were wrongly evicted from housing New Zealand properties. And what did we hear in response to that? Why would we give money to these meth crooks? Are these meth crooks like this Tauranga man, who actually happens to come from the Right Honourable Simon Bridges' as electorate, talking about how he was evicted out of his housing. He had actually asked Housing New Zealand to come in to test his home for methamphetamine because he suspected that his border was actually using it. And on the basis of the results of those tests, which turned out to be positive, he was evicted. This man, who was evicted from his home, who is on dialysis and has a serious brain injury, who was not a meth user himself, would we call him a meth crook? Not on this side of the House. We will compensate him for the wrong that was done to him. And, Mr Speaker, we are showing compassion through listening to those who are running our, our services, our essential services. We are listening to our education sector. And I am so delighted in the work that the Honourable Tracy Martin has actually put out to the sector in the Draft Disability and Learning Support Action Plan. This was announced on Friday. Since then, I have spoken to principals in Rotorua and a group in Invercargill, and I have had heaps of feedback. In fact, out of anything in education, this is the one area that I have had the most feedback on in such a short time. And I want to just, with your OK there, Mr Speaker, I want to just read out a couple, a little bit of that feedback. One this morning that said, this is brilliant news and is a sign of the strong education yes, policies yes. of the parties in this government. We welcome this. Another major organisation who says it does show that this government is actually listening to the educators and has taken our concerns about getting more support to both kids and schools. Our voices are being heard. And the last bit that I would like to speak, out here, speak about here, Mr Speaker, is it says, this, just this one that I read on Facebook, says, at last some hope, some good news for those students that need it both. I'm literally sobbing. I'm crying my eyes out. This has been a long time coming. Thank you from the bottom of our heart. Mr Speaker, we are proud to bring compassion to what the work that we do. And while, Mr Speaker, the opposition, the National Party, tweets into the void and barks at the passing cars, this government is getting on with the things that matter to Kiwis. We are building houses, restoring our public health services, fixing transport and the area that I am so passionate about. We are restoring a strong public education system and we are modernising our schools. Thank you. The Honourable Scott Simpson.